here I'm going to test this is going to be the main display port to display port 0x2 MST splitter or hub. The part number is R06N-MST-102-P. So this one has the main display port input and outputs to two display ports. And they're labeled the same port output 1 and output 2. So this one, this unit requires USB power, power, and I'm taking it from the USB power here port here, where I have a cable connected to my to a wall outlet, a USB wall outlet. Um, the computer I'm using is going to be a mainstream computer. Now I it was not it's not recommended to use adapters because it might affect the signal and bandwidth usage concerns. Um, as for the monitors, I'm just using regular 1080p monitors. And connected to these monitors, I have either a 6 foot to 15 foot H, uh, display port cable. Now, these display port cables are TNT made 28 gauge because we have to, we're using 28 gauge because of the bandwidth concerns. And we set the limit to 15 feet for at least 1080p. So, you first connect one unit to the unit first to have everything up and running. So, like I said, I plugged plug in the cable first for the monitor and then the power. Now, I'm doing hot plugging, but I don't recommend doing that because it might affect the signal. But I'm just doing it because it might be faster. <coughs> now, see here, maybe you look at the up here. Once I plug it in, the video comes up. First thing I want to check is my bandwidth. So, look up here, <coughs> my total bandwidth. Since I have one monitor, it's fine. But I'm going to reset that. I'm hit, I just hit the reset button right now. This is why you don't hot plug. You might have, you might change the back, the bandwidth concerns. But once I hit reset, you still notice here the total bandwidth goes back up to the twenty. Because it detects it. Now I'm gonna plug the second monitor in. And here you see both monitors come up. So you look at my bandwidth. I'm still good. Both monitors get detected. Okay. Now. From here, you can do any other thing you want. I'm just doing a quick check with doing, a, let's say, I'm going to do a quick arrangement to make a video wall. And here, I see. Yeah, and to make sure it's video wall, all I do is open some kind of program and maximize it and it scratches across the screen so I know it's a video wall as one monitor. Let me go up here and let me look at the resolution right now real quick. So I go with my screw resolution up here so I see it as 3840 by 1080 so it's correct. Okay, so that one I want to stop here. I'm going to change the setup real, qu real quickly. So previously I did two monitors now I changed the setup real quick. I put it. I went back to the one monitor there on the Dell. Now from here, I will actually try to plug it into a 4K 60 Hz monitor. So we will go over at the unit again. Right here, I am going to unplug this unit right now, my Dell monitor. I am going to plug into plug in my next mo another monitor now. So we have 4K monitor and. What I do, here you see over here, my 74K monitor comes up. Now, I'm using a shorter cable for 4K because of the bandwidth. Definitely uses more bandwidth. So you look over here, I bring my screen measurement up. You notice right here, it says 3840 by 2160. And if I go to the advanced, you actually see here, it's running 60 hertz. This is the fastest you go right now at the moment. Um, real quick. Real quick, I'm going to show you right now is my bandwidth usage. So, you look over here, you notice the bandwidth. It says, at my maximum again, it's the same number, 21, around 21. But the usage of this monitor is already 70, 70 some percent, 70 something percent. As you're already using a lot, a majority of bandwidth. Based on this, you would not be able to get, to get another 4K monitor in here. So that's why I'm only using one monitor right now because the battle 30 uses almost everything up. But it is actually right now it actually does is 4K. So and then basically that's so that's basically that it. So if you're using two monitors, try to stick below 1080. If you're gonna use 4K, 
You're probably only limited to, you might be mostly the only one.